that's nice. Hi YouTube, hello everyone, I'm Mini Dobby and this is Mini Diaries episode 6. Thank you for clicking on my video, hopefully you'll enjoy it enough to hit that thumbs up button. I'm keeping a weekly vlog, an update of my work and the time that I spend on my classic Mini and others around me. Show season seems to be looming, plenty of tickets coming up for sale now. Still got a few months left with still plenty to do. What are you guys looking forward to doing this year? some motorsport based events some ideas would be great something that i can go and get involved with even if it's grassroots i'd still be interested to come and take a look come and get involved maybe you could hit up my comments down below and let me know don't forget the giveaway from my last video go and give that a watch go and comment on that video with your chance to win now it's time to go and build something easy I told you i've got something cool to build We've got a tool cart to put together, so I'm going to leave it on the stand there and me and Josh are going to get this together. Hopefully it'll keep us a bit more organised, save us running backwards and forwards to the toolboxes all the time too. cart together we're a little bit unsure to what we should put in it yet we've got some new and some old spanners and sockets and the ratchets we've got this nice big compartment on top just some gloves in it a section underneath as well maybe you could give me some hints or give me some ideas of what I should put in it it's just a small section on something that I've done around the mini done it with my mate Josh and hopefully it'll come in quite handy for us you may also notice I've got some red on my hand got peer pressured into paint in the front of the engine I only touched it up I know it won't last forever but it does look a million times better once that's dry tomorrow I'll get it back out and show you back on it today feeling frustrated that this has come out a different colour quite happy with how it come out and the finish that I've got on there it's just not matching it's quite annoying because it was meant to be the same colour I did use the same paint code it means I've got to take these bits off here strip it down take the fuel filter off and the wiper motor whilst the wiper motor is off I can put a new cover plate on that a little present that I've got I'm also going to finish off the corners that hold the bonnet. I'm going to finish them in the same colour too. So I know it will look better once it's done. I've just got to get it done and it's frustrating that it come out that different colour. There's barely a line there. If that would have matched, maybe I could have rubbed that down and blended it in. Also, the engine. I'll show that quickly as well. So there's the front of the engine. I've only touched up a few of the spots where it was either flaking and coming off. 
I will look to give this all a really better clean soon as well. I don't know how to keep these cases clean. They always seem to pit again. I'm quite happy with it though. It did come out quite nice. Still a few little dirty spots under there though, look. We start getting these bits off. As I said before, it's a little bit annoying, a little bit frustrating. Show season's coming up. I know a lot of people are getting ready. A lot of people are already. Be nice to know how far along in your projects you are, especially if you're coming out this summer. I know there's a lot of long-term projects out there, but it'd be nice to hear about your projects that you're doing bits on. Who's coming out for the summer this year? Be nice to see some of them too. Just start by taking off the uh, supply for the filter. Get out of the way. Take the bracket off. I do need a bit of help today. No, anyone's here. I've got to go inside and get to the back of these bolts that hold them bits on. All the nice trays down there making it well easy. Look at that. Look what else I can use today. Look at that. Won't lose nothing. Oh, bloody hell. filter off don't know don't know how clean that's meant to be sure it could be better wonder how that got like that. I think taking the cover plate off is going to allow it to undo up here and come off with a wiper bar. That one there, you might have seen it in the previous episode. That supplies my radiator or the fan on the radiator. I'm off a little bit greasier than what I wanted to be but I know this has to be filled up with grease the gear sliding in and out that means that a little pin there a little pin can come out I'm going to take these bonnet pins off as well I'm going to need to take off the bonnet pin on this side anyway. That's just a little bit of heater hose left over that I had. This is my fire extinguisher. It's on a pull cord connected into the car. I've got one spraying out at my legs and another spraying out on the engine. It says in the information pack that I've got that it comes out in a 90 degree and to try and fit it in uh, more dangerous areas where it's going to get the best covering. I thought it would be best to go up there, it covers this bit of fuel here and it should also cover the carb. I've got the Lifeline um, Eco Foam fire extinguisher, I've got that plumbed in behind the passenger seat and I've also got a handheld one. I think they're worth every penny. It's going to be nothing worse if I were to have any problems. Touch wood, I haven't this year. Something may be worth investing in though, and it does look pretty race car too. Little tip for bonnet pins. Obviously, with them on, it just raises the bonnet up, and the pins there at a height. I'm quite happy with that height, so I'm going to try not to move that top nut. I only need a bottom one and then it will still leave me with the, the height that I like. See if that works though. Huh? You see I'll try to keep that 
same height for when the bonnet goes back on. I'm not going to take that off. I'll wrap all of that up in masking tape. That's the engine steady bracket. DSM one that fits to the thermostat. It's nice and tight. Right, let's see what happens on the underside. In the car, underneath the bulkhead, you can see the nuts within the box in, fits onto the bracket on the top side. You can see why it's a little bit tight and difficult. Oh, that's it. Let's pull it off the mount. Yeah. It's not oh, on there. That's nice. There you go. Now you've just got to mask it up and paint it. Done. Cheap masking tape. It's not the one. Feels like I've got a good bit. So, as you've seen there, the bulkhead's all stripped down. Should have really done this the first time. Could have sprayed it all in one go. Feels a bit like deja vu with everything wrapped up. I managed to get this bracket off on my own with an Allen key wedged against the bulkhead there and turning the ratchet on the underside. Looks a little bit scabby in a few places, most of that's just primer coming through where I've rubbed that down, get a bit of a key on the surface there, hopefully the new paint will stick to that. I'm going to be using the same colour, or the same can, or I'm going to be using the same can to achieve the same colour. I'm also going to paint the two triangles in the corner there to match down as well. Something I've always learnt with spraying is slowly, slowly catch a monkey. Little and often. So I'll keep applying a few more layers over and over again, building the paint up. I'll give that two or three coats, I'll then rub it down, get a key on the surface, and then do the same again. It's what I've done on this side and I'm quite happy with it. So I'll do the same again over the next couple of nights. Then I'll show you the finished product and see what it comes out like. Fingers crossed for me. That's the bulkhead, all finished, all one colour. I'm really happy with how it's come out. Doing the whole bulkhead as one at the very end helps. I think the finish is okay, it will do for a bulkhead. I'm currently rubbing down and repainting the brackets that I took off on that side. That's a little bit boring to show you doing them. I am going to take you with me to go and do the brake master. I'm going to rub that down and repaint it. And then I can come back and refit everything. I can't wait to get that bulkhead nice and full up again and then move on to some bigger and better things maybe you could let me know what you think of the colour it's Yukon grey I think it's the old one and I quite like the the contrast against the white let us know down below <laughs> got to mention how good this tool trolley is already, it's coming really handy, made work so easy. Literally picking a tool out there, doing the work there, putting it back straight away. Sorry guys, that's it for another week. I've run out of time this week. The video's getting a little bit long. I've got my brake master cylinder here. I'm going to strip that down and repaint it. I'll be doing that at the start of next video, which I'll pick up straight away from this point. You can also see I've got the brackets there, they've got some etch primer on, I'll give them a rub down, 
and a coat of black. All to be ready to fit back on to the bulkhead which I'll also be doing in next week's video. So thank you all for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Check out my Instagram which is at mini Dobby. Have a good weekend, stay safe and be lucky.